This is the best strawberry shortcake I've ever made. And did I mention it's keto? This is how I did it. The first thing I did was make the shortbread. I started by separating six egg whites from six egg yolks. The easiest way to do this is to crack the egg in half and move the egg yolk from one half to the other until the two are fully separated. Next, I went about creating an egg white foam by combining all of the egg whites with a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar isn't necessary, but it does help the egg whites foam. Whether you do it by hand or with the help of a mixer, you wanna continue mixing until soft but firm peaks are formed. Then set it aside. Next, I mixed all of the egg yolks with about one third of the egg white foam. I added a quarter cup of melted butter, one and a half cups of finely ground almond flour, three teaspoons of baking powder. Almond flour is dense. And I use a teaspoon of pure powdered stevia. The pure stuff is very strong. And I finish it off with a pinch of Himalayan sea salt, my salt of choice. Once combined, I blended these ingredients until I got a nice chunky mixture. And you better believe I didn't waste a single drop. Now this next part is really important. The egg white foam that I made is what gives the bread its body. So when you mix the remaining foam in with the batter, you wanna be careful to fold it into the batter rather than clumsily mixing it together. It's okay if there are still some chunks when you're done. For baking, I use an eight x four nonstick loaf pan that I nevertheless coated with butter before filling it with the batter. I then baked the shortbread at 375 degrees for 30 minutes. Those 30 minutes is just enough time to make a strawberry sauce and the whipped cream filling. For the sauce, I grabbed a handful of strawberries and sliced them as thinly as possible. That really speeds up the cooking process. I then cooked them over medium heat with just a splash of water and sweetened them with pure cane, my preferred alternative sweetener when baking. I continued cooking the strawberries until they were soft and very sweet, at which point I added a half a teaspoon of powdered unflavored gelatin. Like in gravy, powdered gelatin gives it that nice saucy texture that you're looking for. Just be careful not to use too much or else you'll end up with jello. As soon as I was happy with the consistency of my strawberries, I went ahead and transferred them to my Vitamix. It's okay if you don't have a Vitamix. Any blender will do here, as the purpose is to blend the strawberries into a nice, fine, saucy texture. A squeeze of lemon or a drop of lemon extract would be perfect here. I forgot to add it, but it's okay. It was delicious anyway. The next step called for whipped cream, which on keto, I'd argue is completely indistinguishable from its carby counterpart. All I did was sweeten heavy cream to my desired sweetness with powder powdered sweetener and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I powdered my sweetener myself by throwing it in the Vitamix. Not necessary, just something I like to do. Like the egg white foam before it, I blended the whipped cream until soft, stiff peaks formed. At this point, my half hour timer went off, so I propped the oven open to allow the shortbread to cool while again slicing strawberries as thinly as possible for the filling. The shortbread must be cooled to the touch or else you risk melting the whipped cream. So go ahead and throw it in the fridge if you have to. Once cooled, I carefully sliced it into three thin layers. You could do a lot with this bread. Share your ideas in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you come up with. Next, I cut the slices into thirds, which turned out to be the perfect portion. After which I began the layering process. This is the fun and easy part. I simply layered whipped cream with strawberries, added the bread and repeated until I was done. If you're worried about the carb count in strawberries, remember that I stress slicing them as thinly as you can. Strawberries are already a low carb fruit. By slicing them thin, you give the impression of more when actually less is used. In this way, one strawberry shortcake requires two to three strawberries max. So what you end up with is this incredibly delicious dessert just loaded with healthy fats from eggs, almonds, and heavy cream that tastes even better the longer these flavors are allowed to soak into the shortbread. Mine didn't last long. Now get out there and make this as soon as you can. It's delicious, look at that. And it's nothing you can't make. Keto Crush, eat healthy, feel great, look hot.